Hey folks, this is Imran from AllAboutAndroids.com and today I have Eagles Blood AOS Build 4. This has been a nice wait and CSM and Boxer and Danique have worked for 60 plus hours to get this release. It is an amazing update and let's get into it. This is the first ICS ROM for the LG G2X to have full March 2012 baseband support. So the, uh, the 21Y baseband that got released um, in March 2012 after LG um, said we're gonna shove ICS to your faces in quarter three so that was a disappointment but hey at least it gets some better GPS signals and some other stuff so let's get into what what is really good with this release so last week I mentioned how the theme chooser had a small um, they were causing some issues with the system files but now it has a full theme um, setup okay so you can switch to Androidian and uh, when you apply it everything comes green uh, most I would say can become green uh, there's still like this blue bottom bar right here okay but other than that everything else becomes nice and green okay so that's a nice thing we've added the themes boxer has mentioned that he might be able to get some themes not now but soon maybe later in the future we might be able to get some more customizable themes Next we have the camera fix. So we are all aware that because of the drivers, the camera doesn't work, it's not optimized. But as of right now, it is a full, um, it is full eight megapixel camera, okay? It does pretty fast pictures. Let me just take another picture here. And it gets some really clear pictures, all full eight megapixel mode. So let's just go right here. It options there you go it's 8 megapixels next if you had to go to the camcorder it would always crash so let's switch to camcorder now it doesn't force close it opens camcorder it doesn't work but at least it doesn't force close on you like how it would normally do okay panorama mode works um, I would say most of the time it does a decent job um, I've tried it for a while and it hasn't caused me any issues but I have heard that some people had gotten a few issues with the panorama mode so that's it for the camera fix. Okay, next we have the first ICS ROM to have full Wi-Fi calling working perfectly fine, okay? So Wi-Fi calling works perfectly. Um, I'm in Canada and it wouldn't really work. I'm using WinMobile, not T-Mobile. But as of right now, Wi-Fi calling is perfectly fine. The firmware for the Wi-Fi um, as a whole, the Wi-Fi network card on here has been updated so the latest firmware does cause it to have slightly better signal reception and uh, it is full 802.11 and capable, okay? Now Wi-Fi tethering has been fixed up, it has full encryption. Uh, when I used it, I, I mean I use it all the time since I, since I recently got my tablet and um, I gotta say it worked perfectly fine for me, I haven't had any issues with it, but now it has full encryption. So if you go to your settings, you hit more, tethering and portable hotspot, you can just play around right here, you can configure it, what kind of security you want to have um, set up. So right there you can choose the security level, etc. Okay, so that has been fixed. Of course you have the latest updates, uh, you have the latest from Google. And uh, the last change is the um, forced GPU instead of CPU by default. So by default, it would be forcing the CPU to, for performance. Now GPU is gonna help out with the performance of the device. Uh, in terms of launcher, I am using the Nova launcher. I'm not um, on the current trebuchet that, that comes with the ROM. I found that Nova gives you way more um, customizations and you, you don't even need to get the prime to get most of the features running you can choose how many desktops you want as usual but at the same time you can get scrollable docs so like for me I have two docs right here I can have my browsers and have my main uh, dock right here you can of course put different um, effects such as trebuchet has the cube as well but this one has a transparent background as you can see you can see my background wallpaper so as a whole really solid build uh, I mentioned about battery life before and let's just go to the gallery uh, I took two screenshots one um, okay so this is built for um, and uh, built for when I just left it on just literally just left it on with sync so it would sync my Gmail and um, I would pull off about 21 hours so just left the phone on with sync it would sync my Gmail that's it and uh, I haven't I didn't use it at all during this time 
and this is another test when I actually did use it and got about 16 hours so um, I could play some games um, of course browsing some web watching one or two videos on YouTube and you can see it goes up and down up and down and up and down uh, in terms of battery drivers same as before we get CM and DS I made a mistake uh, in the last video about how um, CM is the one with the up and down readings and DS is not but it's the other way around if you go to battery right here um, CM I just I just rebooted it but um, CM is the one that gives you the more or less uh, straight readings and the DS goes up and down but it might um, just numbers wise it might give you up from 10 to 25 percent increase um, I would say that when I use the DS driver it did give me quite a decent boost in battery life play around with it tell me which battery driver you use also tell me which launcher you guys use um, that's basically it for this uh, release I hope you liked the video please comment and subscribe we really appreciate it we also have a Facebook page a Google Plus account and a Twitter please add us there this was Imran from All About Androids thanks